In the last few years, consumers have become more aware that meat, dairy, and eggs are bad for the environment, our health, and that animals can face unimaginable suffering in animal agriculture. As a result, there's a growing trend for products that are labeled humane and environmentally sustainable. Some examples are cage-free, free-range, organic, humane, and other classifications with images of lush, grassy hills and happy animals to entice customers to buy their products. We asked consumers their views on some of these labels. What do you think life is like for a chicken on a cage-free farm? No cages, no cages. I think they're probably happy. Yeah, I would say happy. For a chicken, it means that they be able to go and peck and eat freely um, anywhere they want to, and they have room to grow and roam. Well, I uh, visualize that they're just out in the field someplace, you know, all together with other chickens, and they're free to go wherever they want. I imagine that it's actually sort of like camp, where it runs up and down the field, it has expansion, it can fly, actually, it can integrate with other chickens, and it's not confined in a box. While the hens are not squeezed into wire cages, cage-free hens are still tightly confined in windowless warehouses and never see the sun overhead or grass beneath their feet. Cage-free hens are typically kept in dark, crowded buildings by the thousands. The buildings are filled with concentrated excrement and ammonia that burns their sensitive eyes and throats. They're still painfully debeaked, meaning the end of their sensitive beaks are cut with a hot blade, which can cause chronic, lifelong pain. How do you think the chicks are hatched in a cage-free or humane operation? I would like to think that they're hatched naturally the way they're supposed to be hatched. I would think they'd be hatched in, in um, a nest with a mom sitting on it, not like an incubator, like you would in a, um, you know, um, an operation. Okay. It, natural. Uh, I've never seen anything about how they're hatched, but I would imagine that they would be done in a softer, gentler way than mass production. No matter the label or the size of the farm, it's not profitable for egg operations to hatch their own chicks. So the babies are born on metal shelves in industrial hatcheries and then shipped by mail to egg and meat facilities. Baby chicks are not hatched in soft nests. They are immediately thrust into a frightening world of conveyor belts, metal machinery, and tossed about like mere inanimate objects. No chick in egg or meat production, regardless of the label, ever sees their mother hen. At just hours old, the male chicks in the egg industry are separated out and killed as they are not profitable to be raised for meat. While still fully conscious, they are macerated by machines much like large blenders with sharp metal blades. Others are tossed into huge trash bins to suffocate on the weight of other chicks and slowly die of exposure and dehydration. The killing of billions of newborn baby chicks is one of the most brutal procedures in the chicken industry, yet it is hidden from the consumers and routinely practiced no matter the label on the product. What do you think slaughter is like for a chicken on a free range or cage free farm? Um, good question. I don't know. I'm assuming they probably go to the chopping block. I don't know if they're all corralled into an area first and separated from watching others ha have that happen or what. Um, but I, I can't say I have much knowledge about that either. Having not seen it, I don't know. I would hope it's uh, painless and uh, also stress-free. I think it's uh, horrifying. They know that it's coming and um, um, it's, it's unthinkable and it's uh, extremely stressful and horrible. Most chickens, no matter the label, go to the same slaughterhouse as any commercial chicken, but some are slaughtered on the farm. Even in the very rare situation where chickens are not confined and able to go outside, the chickens are still roughly handled with insensitivity and are frightened and disoriented by being shoved upside down in the killing cone. As her throat is cut and blood spurts out into the catch sink, she kicks and struggles in agony, sometimes for minutes. Throat slashing is a painful, traumatic experience for a frightened animal. The neck is full of nerve endings and pain receptors, and many veterinarians agree it is not a quick or painless way to die. Chickens are often still alive and breathing when next placed into the tank of scalding hot water. 
Killing healthy young animals can never be humane or compassionate. Please, don't buy the lie, don't buy animal products, and join us in going vegan.